Hi guys, I think we are continuing with encouraging each other under these conditions that we are faced with in South Africa and also throughout the world, especially the challenge of COVID-19. Right now in South Africa, we have been told already, uh, this virus is yet to reach the peak. That might happen during the course of uh, mid-August or even early September. So as we navigate through this challenge of COVID-19, we need to assist each other, to encourage each other and also to advise each other. Currently, the main strategies that are being used throughout the world and also here in South Africa to try to deal with this challenge that we are faced with. Uh, one of them, and also maybe uh, taking into cognizance that currently as we speak, as we are faced with COVID-19, we don't have a vaccine and we also don't have a cure. Although there are processes and trials that are taking place now in trying to, to find a cure or also even a vaccine. But there are specific strategies that have been recommended, which I also want to encourage you to follow and to respect uh, those strategies and ensure that we implement them to the letter. One of them is social distancing. Let's make sure that it should not be the duty of government to enforce social distancing. It should be our duty, taking into cognizance that for the sake of our families and also for the sake of the people that we love, we need to ensure that we obey social distancing. As we go to the malls, as we go to shops or shopping centers, wherever we go, as we interact with people, let's make sure, let's try our best to practice social distancing. One meter apart or even more. So that's one strategy. Social distancing that we need to respect wherever we go. The second one is wearing of a face mask. We need to put on the face mask wherever we go. In public spaces, in shops, in churches, in funerals, wherever we go, even in a taxi, let's ensure that our face masks are always on our mouths. That is what we need to, uh, to do, also to make sure that we don't actually uh, be infected with the uh, disease or the virus itself. So let's put on our face masks. Let's not wait for government to enforce it, but let's do it out of our own will and practice putting on face mask. Even at times, the face shield is also recommended because the WHO, World Health Organization, also tells us that at some point, this virus might also be airborne. So let's try our best. Put on our face mask all the time in public and also put on the face shield. The other one is sanitizing our hands and also now and then washing our hands. Don't go into a shopping center, a shop, or don't go into a taxi without sanitizing your hands. And the moment you come back from either wherever you went to, as you come into the house, also sanitize your hands and also wash your hands 
with soap. That is how we can also prevent this thing. If you went out shopping and you come back with plastics, as you come into your home, make sure that you decontaminate those plastics. And every container that you are bringing back into the home, make sure that you also decontaminate it. But the last one upon all these things is also making sure that we clean surfaces in our homes now and then. Let's clean the surfaces, let's decontaminate the surfaces, and also even if uh, in the house we are using one toilet, we are sharing a toilet, let's also make sure that we clean even those seats now and then. By doing that, fellow South Africans, we will be making sure that the virus is not spread uh, throughout even our workplaces and also even in our homes. We also have this tendency that in our workplaces, we at times when we address people, we remove the mask. We take it for granted that this is the person that I know, or this is my colleague, or oh, this is my family member, this is my friend, when addressing them, then go into the tendency of removing the mask. Let's make sure that we are always uh, in our mask, wherever we are, even in our workplaces, even when you are addressing your colleagues, just put on your mask and make sure that we are all safe. By doing that, you are then protecting yourself you are protecting your colleagues, you are protecting your friends, but above all, you are also protecting your family. I believe in doing that as a people who are faced with, with this challenge. I believe we can do it and uh, limit the spread. South Africans, we can beat this thing. Thank you. I would like you and request you after watching the video to like it, to subscribe, to comment, just drop off your comment and also to share the video with your friends and family. It might be of assistance to a number of people. So kindly share it. Thank you very much.